Hi, I'm Ilya from Bitscout, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can extract uh, tables from a document. As an example, we're going to take uh, this paste tab, which, is, uh, which contains uh, several tables. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to extract all of them, and then I will show you how you can uh, filter out only the one that you need. Bitscout has uh, lots of templates, and here we have a template that allows you to extract all tables. Okay, you can have a look how it works and uh, how to use it, but uh, you can also... Uh, uh, Bitscout has a lot of templates, and one of the templates we have is called Extract All Tables. It's super straightforward. Uh, we take all the tables and give you back a CSV that you can write into other tools. Uh, now, in this case, we're going to immediately start using template and depending on which tool you want to use it for, um, you can choose here. Now, if you really focus on extracting all tables, then probably you would want to use Zapier and Make because if you extract all tables to Monday, we will just write the CSV into, um, we will write CSVs into text columns and that's it. Uh, unfortunately, there is no way in Monday to parse it, so you need uh, extra tools. Now, in this case, but if you're looking for just the CSV, then you can use obviously Monday and Asana. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to do it in Make. And uh, in another video, I'll show you how to do it in Zapier. So yes, let's call it all tables, paste tab, and that's it. So now we have our uh, plugin ready. And the next step is to create a make scenario. And depending on how depending on how you use uh, make uh, and how you receive those files, uh, there, are, there can be different options. So I will uh, assume that the file here is uploaded to Dropbox because it's just uh, easier for me to get it. Let's use here okay uh, you can also use here the module for email uh, now we need a share link um, you can use an email model as long as you can pass the file to bitscout that should be fine okay so now we are done and the next step is to run bitscout and here you need to run a plugin for a file and in this case, uh, your plugin is all tables. Here it is. And the link to the file is the download URL. So let's run it. Okay, so here we are. Um, now our system gives you all the tables and it also gives you how many columns there are per each table and each table is returned as a CSV file. Now the reason why you need the columns because typically the next step would be an iterator because you probably want to find some specific table and in this case you want to choose the array and this is called table array. And then the next step is parsing a CSV file. Okay. Uh, let me find the CSV. Now, when you parse a CSV, one of the most important things here is number of columns. And this is precisely what you need uh, from the previous item. So if you, let's say, we only want the table called earnings. All right. Now here we have one, two, three, four, five columns. Okay, so we can put five. But if you process all the tables, you need a dynamic value here. Okay, the limiter in our case is a semicolon and the CSV is here from the iterator. And now because we want a, only one table and I know that the word earnings will be available in this table. So what I need to do is create a filter. Okay, only earnings. And here the CSV should contain 
the word earnings. Okay, let's double check it. Let's find our table. Yes, here it is. Okay, uh, now it also means that you can add here a router and based on the filter you can find different tables. Okay, so the next step is to write it somewhere. In this case, let's write a table in, into Microsoft Excel. Uh, for that, you need to uh, use an Excel uh, module and we need a worksheet row and you need to have a connection. So you can just press add it here. I already have my connection and I had a, yes, this is the Excel I have created. This is, this is the one, just a simple Excel file. You can use yours and we want to write it to a sheet one and we need to write values okay okay and here we need to match it like this uh, i had to run it once so the excel gives me an error and for some reason this is how it gives me back the columns <laughs> i don't know why um but yeah here's how it works as you can see i, I had to run it once on an empty um, thing uh, Let's run it once again, and this time uh, the value should appear in Excel. Okay. Okay, here we are. Uh, one thing is we didn't give the names to the columns, which we probably should do because we have in our paste up, we have the names, right? Ours, so I didn't do that, I just named them as columns. Uh, but yeah, this is the way you can extract tables uh, from uh, a file into your Excel with Make. Thanks a lot for your time.